If you have a set of lock grips on your gun, or several sets of lock grips on several guns, then they have something in common with me. Just like lock grips, I was made in Michigan. And on a recent visit to my home state, I was able to sneak away for a few hours and visit the manufacturing facility of lock grips located in western Michigan. I love seeing the way things are made, and I have some manufacturing background, so it was like a treat to be given a tour of the processes and to be allowed to share much of that with you. There are still companies in America that make things. And they make them right here at home. There really is a family atmosphere at Locke, something you notice right away when you enter the facility. And giving the customer what they want is job one at Locke. From Reese, who might answer your call, to Caleb, who might ship out your order, this is a very hands-on and customer-focused business. When I first entered the building, I was greeted by several tall racks full of G10 slabs. And this is the primary raw material that makes up the grips. So here I am at Lock Grips, the actual facility where they make and sell Lock Grips. It is in Door, Michigan, which is not that far from Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's also not that far from Kalamazoo, Michigan, if you happen to know where that is. <laughs> um, but it, uh, it's a neat pleasure for me, a great opportunity to come and actually look at the place and meet the people uh, whose products that I use and really like. So I thought you guys might enjoy hearing a little bit from Lock Grips themselves. And I have here with me Blake. How do you pronounce your last name? Cremines. But, you know, All people right. just call me Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Blake Cremines. And uh, he is going to tell us a few things about lock grips that um, I've been curious about, and maybe you are too. So I guess, first of all, how long have you guys been in business? Um, well, we started in 2014. Jason, the owner, um, he started the company by himself. And when we first started, it was 1911 grips. And, you know, didn't do a lot back then. And then it was more people calling, hey, do you make a grip for this? And Jason's response was always, no, but we can. Yep. Um, or can you add this text or this logo? And then he started doing that. And then gradually got busier, needed more employees. And so we kind of really, you know, built our reputation on doing what the customer wanted is, you know, within reason. Um, and then still to this day, we even keep a tally of requested stuff. So people will call. Of course, we can make it. There's just a lot of stuff. So we have a whole list of requested guns and grips and styles that, you know, we want to listen to the customer. So, you know, as we make something, we look down the list and we're like, hey, a lot of people are asking for this. We should do this. This looks cool. Um, or we see a new gun coming out. We try to get a hop on it sometimes. But, yeah, um, been here since 2014. Probably the largest small business in door no one knows about, you know, or a machine shop. We have dealers all over the world right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I just got an incredible tour of this facility, and I was, I was pretty impressed, to be honest. I got to tell you guys, I was expecting that it was going to be much simpler than, than it really is. And uh, you're going to see, you know, what I saw out there, but just the, you know, the CNC process and, and the level of sophistication, how much work and effort it really takes to create every pair of grips is pretty impressive. And you can see quite a bit of them behind me here. Uh, so by the way, if you've ordered some lock grips in your, or you're ordering lock grips and you're wondering, Hey, how come it takes a few days for me to get these grips? You know, you've got them all hanging there. It's because pretty much every order is made to order. And these are ones that you know, if you, you didn't obviously order that exact pair of grips or they would be pulling them down off the wall and sending them <laughs> yeah. to you. So it's as simple as that. Right. Uh, but even so, the turnaround is pretty quick. So it's really pretty amazing. Uh, and like I say, for me, it's been it's been a real treat while I was in the neighborhood to be able to pop by and see uh, to see these these great folks at Lock Grips and, and look at this really cool process. All right. So, Blake, I got a question for you. So you guys make, you know, 
most people that know you know you for your G10 grips. That's how I've, I bought yeah. my first pair of lock grips on Amazon years ago, you know, for a 1911. And, and I've known that name ever since. And now, of course, I come directly to Lock Grips website, which most people should do. Uh, but you've broken out or you've you've expanded a little bit into other things like you make these terrific gun stands. And if you guys watch the channel, you've probably seen the lock gun stand, uh, the black aluminum one that I use a lot. I feature in a lot of a lot of videos. It's just a great way to feature the guns. Uh, and those are available in a lot of different colors and styles and, and even materials. But Apart from that, apart from the grips and now these new stands, uh, where are you guys headed in the market, if anywhere different? Is what's what's down the road people might want to keep an eye out for? Okay. That's kind of a loaded question. Um, and like I said, we get a lot of requests for everything. You know, we have people who call us and, all right, I need grips, I need a trigger, I need, you know, a magwell, all this stuff. And all I can say is keep following us. We've got a lot coming um, right now, we're we're working on magwells, mag bases. You've seen some things you can't talk about. You guys will all find out about that stuff later. Um, we've got a lot of exciting things coming. So yeah, keep following us. Instagram's usually the best way. We like to post all our new stuff there. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of new stuff for guns that we don't even make stuff for yet. Especially some polymer frames, which we know we get a lot of requests for that. Um, so yeah, just keep following us and uh, it'll pay off. Trust me. Anything you want to wrap up with? Anything people need to know? Um, yeah. So, I mean, you were talking about, uh, you know, they're, they're made to order and it's not, we don't just have a vending machine and we push a button and they right. come out. Right. So yeah, you're, he'll show you some of the process, but you know, they're CNC machined. They're not plastic. They're not injection molded or anything like that. And we handle each one by hand. You know, they're inspected. It's a quality material. There's a lot of care, a lot of attention put into them. And yeah, like I said, you're about to see that. And um, yeah, that's about it. All right. Awesome. So and remember, 100% made in the USA. And if you want to save 10%, and I know you do, uh, use the code Justin10. And that also helps the channel out a little bit. So I appreciate it. They appreciate it. And you should probably appreciate it too. Their ability to respond to custom requests, quickly add designs to their product line, and the way they can do such precise and attractive inlays and, and things such as that really sets them apart in my not-so-humble opinion. It was a privilege to tour Lock Grips and meet the great people that work there. It's also a privilege to have an affiliate code to share with you and save you money. When you use the code JUSTIN10, you'll save 10% on your order and you'll help my channel a little bit because some of that money finds its way back here. I did manage to sneak out the door with a few goodies, and I'll be sharing those with you in the very near future. And hey, don't forget to stomp on that like button, and if you don't already subscribe, be sure to do that too, so you'll know when new content's available. And as always, thanks for watching.